folks see the we're back at Sean's house today and we're gonna do some work on some wheels. Not these wheels. Not these wheels. Those wheels. Uh, I've got some busted clips for the hubcaps and I lost the hubcap last year and I'm still mad about it. <laughs> uh, so Sean's gonna show us how to replace the hubcap clips on your wheel the right way, not the well, janky way. My way, I don't know if it's the right way, but it's my way. I think it's the right tool. Yeah, it's the right tool. He's got he went and bought the right tool. That's yeah. a start. Yeah. Um, I've never done it. It's like the one thing on these things I've never done is replace the hubcap clip. So I'm going to let the pro show us. <laughs> Thank you. No pro. Half a pro. <laughs> Amateur. There you go. Pro am. <laughs> pro am. Uh, so we're going to run out to the bus and uh, get that front wheel off and then we'll bring it in this super clean garage and see if we can get something dirty. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. front of the bus. Um, I had lost a couple of these clips um, coming back from Arizona last trip. I didn't make it this year, um, but I lost a commercial hubcap that was original to the bus. I was super mad. <laughs> so I'm getting it fixed. I got a new hubcap to replace it and uh, it'll be nice to get some new hubcaps on there. So you got these little, I don't know, what do you call these? Little clips? Little clips. Five little clips on there that are between the lug nuts that hold them on. Yeah, you can see there. Um, and then they're held on with a little ribbon. And you gotta beat that little ribbon on with a hammer and the uh, special tool, which is here, which holds the rivet and clears the back of the rim. Um, so you can set this down, you can beat the other side with a hammer and uh, they go in nice and easy. If your clips are just broken, you gotta grind off the head and you have to beat that little pin out from the back. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. But you got to get that old clip off of there and then the new clips you can get from Oldsburg West and we'll link that down in the notes below. We'll link this tool. Um, you can get one and make your friends pay for it. And just say you're going to share it. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> some people use a vise for this. Put that in a vise. We're just going to use some 4x6s and 4x4s. Yeah, a little scrap wood, leveling wood out of the bus. And normally we, I do this with the tires off, but since the tires on, we're going to set it down and have Jason stand on it. And with my uh, tremendous upper body strength, <laughs> I'll use my legs to hold the tire down so you can beat on it. So I'm going to hold that down. He's going to beat on it with a hammer and uh, hopefully we can get the other camera in there close so you guys can see how the operation works and how the fancy dancy tool works. Uh, so let's, we'll zoom in and we'll just do that. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and lift up the tire, Jason. I'm going to get the clip. I got the clip in here with the rivet. I can't see that. Yeah, there right. you go, right there. there. You go. I got the clip with the rivet. Is that focusing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to set that underneath. So you set the little rivet in the hole. My mm -hmm. hole's a little bit wallered out on this yeah, one. Yeah, what happened so, there? Well, these are the ones that rusted off. Oh. All right, go ahead. And but I think it's going to be okay. He'll just hit it extra hard. Yeah, right? just got to make sure that it's mushroomed. There we go. This is my tremendous upper body strength holding this <laughs> down. <laughs> That's good. I like to clean it up a little bit with this. That? I think you just hit it out. No, that the hole is. Uh, also, Sean's not big on following instructions, and you're not supposed to hit a hammer with a hammer. Okay. So if you're OSHA safety like me, just avert <laughs> your eyes and forget that you saw that. You know what? We're gonna have to re this one here. It wasn't. Did this get drilled out? No. Is that a steel rivet? Yeah. I'll just throw a little tack bead on the back of that. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's flip it over. Okay, so we're gonna get this last one set up on there. This is an actual round hole, so this one should work 
better per design. All right, whenever you're ready. Ah. <laughs> okay. That was good and straight. Does that feel good? It's yep. better than the rim, so you know it's tight. <laughs> So that That's when you nice beat on that clean. rivet with the hammer, um, it mushrooms it out on the outside of that hole, and that's all that holds those clips in. So that one that got messed up, I'll just throw a little weld on it when I get home. It'll be fine. Uh, you want to go ahead and clean it? Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's you like to do it. It's your that's thing. Right. So. It just cleans it up for me. Okay, let's flip it over and look at the clip. So this is the one, which one here? This is the one with the, the hole that was not completely rounded, but these here, nice and solid. I'd probably throw a little bit of, you know, spray paint on the back a little something so it doesn't rust, but they're solid, solid as these original ones. And there you go. Now I won't lose my hubcaps into a field, you know, at 40 miles an hour in the middle of nowhere. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, let's go put this wheel back on the bus and uh, get some air back in there. Get some air back in that tire. Sounds good. clips on the rim so if you keep throwing hubcaps or if you know your hubcaps are rattly and shaking loose that's how you fix them Sean showed you how very simple master technician <laughs> YouTube certified again definitely not a master <laughs> rookie uh, that best. tools like what 30 bucks 40 bucks no that I, I want to say it's about a $10 tool I don't know oh. I've had it for years so there you go. the clips are cheap so you know maybe 15 bucks 20 bucks and there you go save a rim some Same of those rim. rims, like this bus has the early crow's feet style rims on the back. For now. Um, so if you had those rims and they didn't have hubcap clips on them, put the clips on and the rim's actually, you know, not only a nicer rim, but worth a little bit more money mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to sell them. So that's always good too. You get some junkyard rims, sandblast them, paint them, put some new clips on there. Gold mine. Gold mine. <laughs> it worked out well. So that was easy. You don't have to lose that hubcap anymore. No, you won't lose your expensive commercial hubcap into the desert in the middle of the night like I did. So, so fun, easy, cheap, more things you can do to your car. So go do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>